Here there's a whole lot of dents from doing work here. And then a couple bullet hole patches right there. This is Tim, 911, doing a video. We're here on a roof we did a couple, three, four years, uh, three years ago. 2017, I think. We got some algae that needs to be cleaned, but we just need to overall kind of power spray this roof lightly, get this dust and dirt off. <clears throat> Had a couple cold welds there. That was it, but wasn't leaking. Um, need the guys to come out and take care of this area right here, but somebody put a boot on this roof that's black and it's not TPO and this is a TPO roof and this is what you absolutely can't do on a TPO roof is put screws through it, single part membrane, and then caulk it with silicone. This is just going to peel right off. It's bounded right now, luckily, but it ain't going to last. So this needs a TPO pipe boot. Um, for some reason, somebody put goop here. This is, we need to re pour this. So, part of the maintenance package, doing stuff like that. Um, we got tuck pointing that came off right there, and tuck pointing that came off over here. You can see, just stuff like that. You see it right here? It's the spots up there where the light's going out. And over there, there's where water's getting in. That all needs to be ground out and re -tuck pointed. There's a big, right under that eyelet, it's kind of open right there, see the crack? That's getting water. And then we have some spots right over here above this window here on the roof, so. Actually, we walk down here. We walk down here, if you look up, you can see the water up there. See the white effervescence. And then straight over there, there's white effervescence. And then this is the area, the corner that Jorge said that she, Amy Harrison, our customer, said some water is getting in. Um, these windows could be leaking, or it's got this grill across it. But also, you can see the crack in the mortar up there, and in some different spots. Um, if you actually look at the roof right here, and walk on it, it doesn't have any open seams or water in it. Um, we need to get this all blown off and cleaned up. There's like a lot of paint and glass Glass or something here I don't know what it is, but Sawdust that we need to scan this out and get it all cleaned off But there's a couple little dents there and we Compared them I guess from this remodel that was going on here And finally on this inspection we do have the bullet head There it is in these city roofs, a lot of times there's leaks on these TPOs just from these bullets. They, they get in there and uh, they cause a few leaks. So we got it. But the main thing is, is that coming out right away and stopping it before water gets under in between the membrane, freezes and thaws and causes it to lose adhesion. And right now this roof is just fine and performing just fine. This is Constructors 911. I'm Tim. That's just, that's Mr. George, and he's doing a good job getting this repaired. Thanks.